Hello everyone, welcome back to Ruby Lessons and Code Academy. So in today's lesson we are going to be looking at the marriage of modules and classes. It's going to be a shorter lesson uh, and yeah, as you can see. At the end of the lesson I will say that you can leave questions, but however, uh, at the time of you watching this or at the time of the release anyway, I'm probably not going to be able to answer your questions. However, in about a week's time, I should be able to. So do leave your questions, I will answer them as soon as possible as I say. But let's just get on to the, today's lesson. So what we did in the last exercise, which it was looking at modules and how they work, uh, might not have seemed strange to you. But think about it, we mix together the behaviors of a class and a module. When a module is used to mix additional behavior and information into a class, it's called a mixin, without a quotation mark or uh, an apostrophe at the end. That's weird, okay. Mixins allow us to customize a class without having to rewrite code. Let's let that sink in for a bit. Instructions. Check out the code in the editor. See how we define the jump method in the action module? Uh, jump method in the action module. Me uh, then mix it into the rabbit and cricket classes. Click the submit code to see the effect. So include action and then we use I'm going to guess we use it somewhere. Yep, we use it here. And that name is pronounced Gemini, I think. I just had to say that. Um, <laughs> I was looking at this earlier. So, let's see what these do. So we have a module, which ha is called action, which contains one action, for now, jump. The, uh, the jump method in this, uh, or the jump action, if you will, says that the distance is a random number between four, well, no, random four. I don't exactly know how random works, but it adds two to whatever it is. And it says, it puts out, I jumped forward, whatever add distance is going to be. And we are using add distance, also notice that. That means that it's going to be class specific, or no, instance specific. So rabbit is going to have one uh, jump distance and cricket is going to have another. So in this case, uh, the Peter the rabbit, I believe, yep, Peter the rabbit is going to jump three feet and Jim, Gemini the cricket is going to jump two feet. That's quite far for a cricket. And uh, we have used both a module and uh, a class to achieve a new method and as you can see uh, this is quite sh just using include action is quite shorter than having to copy and paste this method into both of these so making it more efficient if you mix them together so imitating multiple inheritance now you understand why we said mixins could give us the ability to mimic inheriting from one from more than one other class by mixing in traits from various modules as needed, we can add any combination of behaviors to our classes that we like. So you are allowed to have a hundred modules and include all of those modules into your classes. That is allowed and it, it is going to work. As long as you don't uh, by accident have two of the same variable names and don't specify which one comes from where. In that case you might get an error. So what we need to do is create a module, martial arts module, and end. There's no tab there, okay. Inside define a method called swordsman that just puts, okay, so we don't need any parameter, parameters, we just need puts, I'm a swordsman. Quite boring. Hello, well. On lines 8 and 7, so, no, 8 and 15. I cannot even see numbers now. Wow. Uh, please include martial arts. So, include martial arts. And also on line 15, 
which is here. Oh, no, 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 no. So that would come here and here. Bec uh, the, the lines have changed because I added in my own module. So this is where you would need to add them in. So it, it should have looked something like this. And that's where lines 8 and 15 come in. But I like to separate my stuff. So that's what is going to happen. Please include martial arts to mix in both into the ninja and samurai classes, thereby giving them a swordsman method. Okay. And that we haven't used yet. And as you can see, nowhere inside of samurai or ninja have we defined a swordsman method. However, because we are including it using the martial arts uh, module, we can use it. Hopefully it's going to allow us to do that here, no. But we saw an example before, I don't think I have to go into much detail. Extend your knowledge. Whereas include mixes a module's methods in at the instance level, allowing instances of a particular class to use the methods, the extend keyword mixes a module's methods at the class level. So this means that the class itself can use the methods as opposed to instances of the class. So if you try to call it from an instance, you wouldn't be able to. However, if you tried to call it with the class keyword, then you would be able to. So if you had a class called the here and, you, you can, as you can see, call the here and dot now. But if you instantiated uh, an object of the here and and did that dot now, then you that would give you an error. So let's uh, look at this before I look at the output because I don't know what this output means now. Uh, the present has a dot now method that will extend to the here and. So we have a module the present, which has a method of now, which puts out the current time. Okay, that's all fine. Class extend the present, and that takes all of this, and we can use dot now which takes that, but this is only for the class. And as you can see, we haven't instantiated anything and we can still use it. If we were to instantiate a the here and object, so let's do, I don't know, me, doesn't really matter, here and dot new. But then we do try to do me dot now. As you can see, we get an error because we're only allowed to use this with the class or we're only allowed to use now with the class because of the extend keyword. Let's just get rid of that so that it doesn't annoy me for next time. But yeah, that's going as I said this is going was going to be a shorter lesson for today. If you enjoyed watching it then do please give me a like, share and subscribe. If you didn't, dislike tell me in the comments why you disliked it so I can improve for next time. Also, if you have any questions, do feel free to ask me in the comments down below. As I said, I will be away this week. I will answer it as soon as possible. Hence me saying it. Uh, yeah. So, until next time, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.